What is up everybody? Here with another movie haul video for you today. Got this one off of Amazon. Uh, all of them brand new obviously, so it's a little pricier. I don't remember the exact number for these. But uh, the first thing I got was Mission Impossible 2 on 4K in the Steelbook here. Uh, wanted to make sure I was able to upgrade uh, my DVDs to 4Ks. Because uh, the first or the second one here I only had on DVD, so now I get to get the 4K and the Blu-ray in the Steelbook. Nice cover art for that as well. Not a big fan of the spine though. And then I also got Mission Impossible 3 on 4K and Blu-ray with the Steelbook. Again, great cover art there. But yeah, see the spine's kind of kind of boring. But uh, looking forward to checking these out in 4K for sure. Got to get your favorite franchises on 4K for sure. Then I got Mission Impossible 5 Rogue Nation. Uh, I have this on Blu-ray, so this is an upgrade from Blu-ray to 4K. One of my favorite Mission Impossible movies, though. Then I got Ghost Protocol. Had this on Blu-ray and upgrading this to 4K. Great movie as well. There's not really a bad movie in this franchise. And then the original Mission Impossible, which I only had on DVD. Alright, and then I also got Get a Job with Miles Teller and Anna Kendrick. Saw the trailer to this movie in another movie that I bought and watched. And uh, looked hilarious, so I wanted to pick it up. Love a good romantic comedy with a good cast, and it seems like this was definitely that movie. Comment down below if you've ever seen this one before. Then I picked up Blue Chips. I had never even heard of this movie until uh, I saw it in a trailer on a DVD that I had bought recently. And uh, Shaq is not the greatest actor, but when I saw Nick Nolte in here and I saw it was a sports movie, I uh, I wanted to check it out. And boy, let's check out the director too. He doesn't really uh, he doesn't really direct movies like this, so I'm wondering uh, I'm wondering how good this is going to be. Then I got the first time. Uh, another one of those romantic comedies where I saw the trailer in another movie, so I thought I'd check it out, so splurged and got it. Not exactly a movie you see out there in the wild very often. And then this one I'm really happy about. I found uh, Future World, uh, the sequel to Westworld, so 100% this is going to be the one I really, really want to check out for sure. As I was a huge fan of the original Westworld movie, so I am looking forward to checking this one out. I still have to watch the Westworld TV series as well, so maybe I'll have to watch this with those. But uh, definitely have high hopes for this movie. But that does it for this movie haul. If you like content like this, please like and subscribe. Your support is much appreciated. I am also over on Letterboxd. The link to that is in the profile description of this channel. Otherwise, until next time, guys.